Hello, welcome, it's Al. It is June 2024. Holy, the year has already flown by and so many changes have happened inside of the last couple of days for Al and Al's Tarot. So, <laughs> thank you for watching today's video. I'm gonna do the Zodiac readings for June 2024. Um, and I thought to myself, well, which deck of cards should I use? It's Pride Month, so that means lots of color, lots of, um, lots of engagement, lots of excitement for those of you who celebrate Pride. Um, it is an opportunity to stand out, to be seen, and more importantly, to let others know that they are not alone. And so I thought, hmm, which deck of cards do I have that kind of might reflect that? So, I mean, I have a lot of rainbow cards, or like rainbow style cards, happy, go luckies, um, party kind of stuff. But I really was thinking about this and I thought to myself, you know what? I think we have to break it down a little bit and maybe see things from a different direction, especially because of the changes that I've gone through over the past couple of days, which have been quite significant. Um, so I thought, you know what? I have to deconstruct to reconstruct. And the perfect deck of cards came to mind. Tarot disassembled by my friend, um, and I know I'm gonna goof this, um, her name, Jennifer Cooper Steadley. I hope I said that right, Jen. This deck of cards is absolutely beautiful. It's so colorful, it's so joyful. However, what Jennifer has done is she's taken the tarot deck and kind of ripped it apart. So that way, you can put it back in a way that you're seeing what you're meant to see. You're getting the vibe that you're meant to get. Um, and so just to show you, this is the deck of cards. This is the box that it came in. I love it. It is produced by Ferocious Ink, which I believe, as far as I'm aware of, that's Jennifer's own private brand. Um, so go check it out. Go check out ferociousink.com. She's got some amazing stuff, and you guys are gonna love it. So, speaking of which, let's get it going and do the zodiac readings for January or for January. Boy, where are you at? For June 2024. Um, so just give you a quick peek at the cards. They are so beautiful and they're so colorful and you guys are gonna love them. All right, so I'm gonna do, I, I have used them before, so I'm gonna do at least three shuffles. And I love shuffling brand new decks of cards. The card stock on these is actually really nice. It's wonderful. It, um, the thickness makes them easy to shuffle and the um, the finish you get um, it feels like a gloss finish on the on the uh, front of the card where you would actually see like the card but the back feels like a beautiful matte finish and um, the um, it makes the cards feel nice in your hand not to mention the beautiful red edging gorgeous all right so enough jabbering out. Uh, get to the Zodiac readings. Okay, okay, I heard you guys. Jeez, give me a moment. <laughs> I love to chat. All right, so that was three shuffles. I'm gonna cut three times, put them back together, and let's do the Zodiac readings for June 2024. As always, Aries, you're up first. Aries, you've got the Hierophant reversed. And with this card, Aries, it almost feels as though you're following a system 
or belief patterns that actually don't work anymore. So see if you can take what you know and spin it so it is something new, something different, something inspiring for you. Look for inspiration this month, Aries. It's all around you. I just think you're so used to seeing things a particular way that you're not seeing all the new ways inspiration is trying to get your attention. Okay? Taurus! You've got... Taurus, you've got Nine of Wands. With the Nine of Wands, Taurus, it's definitely about protection. It's definitely about um, giving yourself some space, surrounding yourself with space. Um, generally, the Nine of Wands is going to be a card of um, putting your shields up. But I'm thinking with this particular card, widen the circumference of privacy, widen the circumference of space you need um, to give yourself more room to shift, to give yourself more room to um, create something, um, create something new for yourself. Give yourself a different outlook. Okay, because it does feel as though you, you tend to box yourself in to a comfort zone, Taurus, and this is letting you know you got to widen that arena. Okay, and I say arena because you're a fighter, so get your butt going. Gemini, that's me! Gemini, you've got... <gasps> Knight of Pentacles reverse, which is definitely who I associate myself to be when it comes to the tarot cards. However, like this guy, I think it's time for me to take off my armor. It's time for me to um, be real, raw, re-active. Um, uh, um, Give myself a chance, or Gemini's, I'm sorry, all of us. Let's give ourselves a chance to actually let ourselves breathe. Um, honestly, money is never a question for us, Gemini. In one way, shape, or form, it ends up finding us when we need it. So this is an opportunity for you to actually switch gears enough that... You're in charge of how money will find you. And with that being said, you end up being able to create a stream that may not actually need a lot of attention. You could actually create something that turns into a um, autopilot kind of thing for yourself. Think about that, okay? I know I am. All right, Cancer. Cancer, you've got the Four of Pentacles reversed. Um, this, this Cancer, this, this is giving me a weird control freak idea. Um, and as a result of that, everything has kind of gone cattywampus, just like in the picture. Um, your robe is over here, your shoes are over there, your crown is somewhere else, not on your head, the coins are all over the place, and it just feels like you gotta pull yourself together. Um, the biggest thing I wanna say, and the, I think one of the easiest ways you might be able to do this, uh, pull yourself together, is by letting go let go of things you cannot control. And that, I realize, is um, sometimes the sore point, Cancer, but I do think that that's exactly what needs to happen for you. Let things go, okay? All right, um, Leo. Leo, you've got three of cups. Three of cups, Leo. Um, think about ways to celebrate. 
think about reasons to celebrate. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm doing this uh, reading, or I'm doing the Zodiac readings today, and it's Sunday, June 2nd. Um, celebrate because it's Sunday, June 2nd. I mean, every opportunity to express joy, express love, express happiness, express gratitude, because that pumpkin right there in the middle, I'm, I don't know about you, but that says thankfulness, or um, that says uh, giving thanks to me. So I hope that it would say that for you as well, Leo. Give thanks, give joy, um, and just every day is a reason to celebrate. Every day you open your eyes, it's a reason to celebrate. All right, so, um, Virgo, you've got Queen of Pentacles. I love this, Virgo, because the Queen of Pentacles is giving you an opportunity to approach things from two specific sides. One, you see that ram head right up there, which a lot of the time I would equate to Mars energy in astrology. And Mars energy is go for it. Mars energy is attack. Mars energy is claim what's yours. Flip that coin, pardon the pun, pentacle, <laughs> but flip that coin and then you've got the rabbit. And the rabbit is pay attention as you're going for the gusto. Pay attention because um, if you rampantly dive into things, you might miss that there are there possibly could be some pitfalls. And so that's what the rabbit does. The rabbit is um, overly sensitive about what's going on around them before they make their move. So you get to be ferocious, but be detail-oriented, Virgo, okay? Detail-oriented. Um, Libra. Libra, you've got two of swords reversed. Libra, I feel like, honestly, this is wake up call, beep, 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 time to wake up. So I'm saying that because quite specifically, I love Jen, thank you. This is, this. it, it makes so much sense. Do you see the sleeping mask that's there? It is time to take off the sleeping mask, Libra, and actually take advantage of every single living moment possible. The best way to, to do that, right here at the top, hydrate, 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 hydrate. Um, the two swords, be frank with yourself and be frank with your word. I also think that one of the other things is with this uh, crescent moon right there, follow your instincts. Not always the easiest thing to do, but follow your instincts, Libra. You're going to make some wonderful movement moving forward. All right, Scorpio. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Scorpio, you've got the Empress. So Scorpio with the Empress, um, it is definitely, like, it's definitely about love. You see that heart right there with the Venus symbol it nestled in it. But that heart with the Venus symbol nestled in it is floating just above a big comfy pillow. And so looking at this, give yourself a chance to sit back and think of ways that you can spread the love. Now, you're not doing it physically to give to others. What you're doing is, how do I put a positive vibe out into the world so that people know I'm thinking about them, so that people know I am wishing them well, and so that people know that at the same time, I'm nurturing myself as well. So. Scorpio, just share the love, share the love, send out the love vibes, and I promise everything that you send out is going to come back threefold. 
Not because, and that's not the reason you're doing it, but that's just, it's another cake. Okay? All right, so Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you've got, uh oh, Papa. You've got the devil reversed. With the devil reversed, Sagittarius, it is about letting go. It is about shedding all of the, shedding all of the structure, shedding all of the garbage that we allow ourselves to believe, getting rid of those negative energies in our head that say that we can't, um, any kind of negation. Today is the day to let all that bullshit go. Um, the one thing I want to point out, Sagittarius, with this chain right there, if you're feeling um, super sexy, um, what's what's the old saying? How does it go? How does it go? How does it go? Um, something about chains and whips excite me. Let your freak flag fly. Freak flag fly. Get your groove on, Sagittarius. Get your groove on. Um, Capricorn. Capricorn, you've got, oh lordy, too funny. I gotta reach out to my friend as a result of this card today. But Capricorn, you've got five of pentacles reversed. The five of pentacles reversed, I love that there is a um, crutch right there in the middle. And as far as the crutch is concerned, Capricorn, especially with the Five of Pentacles, you are at a turning point. You no longer need the crutch. You can stand on your own two feet, solid, comforted, secure, safe. Put your mind in that zone. Strength, strength, strength. Keep warm, keep safe, and certainly if you do need to lean on something, keep yourself sound as you can, okay? But you really don't need anything to keep you up. You're doing so much better than you give yourself credit for, Capricorn. Aquarius! Aquarius, you have the King of Swords reversed. So I would say, um, this really is a think before you speak kind of a moment, Aquarius. Um, mostly because of the fact that with that cloud right there in the middle of the card, I feel like that cloud is um, trying to create confusion for you, or maybe not so much confusion, but maybe you're not seeing the entire picture because you're blinded by the cloud. And as a result of that, Maybe that's the reason why you're not communicating as clearly or thinking as clearly as maybe you should be. So, I would say, think three times before you speak. So that way, you can actually allow yourself to think your thought through from start to finish before you allow it to blurt out. Because in the end, what might happen is, you may end up having to um, step on your own words. Or eat crow. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. Um, so yeah, take it, take it easy, uh, Aquarius. Really give yourself um, pause to think, okay? Pisces. Pisces, you've got the four of swords. The four of swords, Pisces, is it's time to relax. Um, continue, continue your restful space. Continue um, being at peace. Continue just slowing things down. I think over the last, maybe, maybe over the last four weeks, you have um, had to slow things down on purpose. Maybe it was your body, maybe it was your surroundings, maybe it's work, maybe it's family, maybe it's friends, whatever. But you've had to slow down. Continue that ride. It's nice, it's quiet, it's peaceful. 
continue your sabbatical. Okay. There you have it, everybody. The Zodiac readings for June 2024. Thank you for watching today's video. And remember to check back every single day so you can um, get today's tarot card, which I will be posting. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys for the rest of the summer. Keep your eyes open. Stuff's on the horizon. Happy, um, happy, um, happy Sunday. Happy June. Happy Pride. Bye!